What is going on guys? Welcome back. So it's been a little bit since I picked up the camera. Obviously the scenery has changed. Uh, we had issues with this car. It decided to kick the throttle body. Um, so that failed. Luckily I had another one here. But it was failing the day it was snowing. So I was stuck on the side of the road in the snow fixing that. Um, I was trying to bleed the coolant on this and got this whole rig all set up, bought an extra cap, modified it to fit with one of these universal uh, coolant funnels. And I think this coolant recovery tank is leaking somewhere behind this heat shield. And yeah, no fun. All right guys, so did a little bit of research and confirmed that this little notch right here overflows right down here. So we are all in the clear. We're not gonna replace this. We don't have to replace that. We can actually go ahead and bleed the system today. Um, I do, however, need to figure out how I'm going to seal this bottom portion to this top. Um, so I'll see if I can find an O-ring that is big enough to kind of just rest in there and make a seal and yeah we'll hope that that works so as you guys saw i thought the coolant expansion uh expansion tank was leaking however it was just the overflow uh, because that little contraption that i made did not have uh an o-ring or like a block off to keep any excess coolant from going to the overflow so it was just rushing out of there and i thought the coolant tank was actually broken or something so panicked pulled all the coolant out of that then realized it was just the overflow refilled it fired up the car um, i had the thing running for probably like 45 minutes um, just burping the lid i put the oem lid back on fill it up top it off um, put the lid on let it warm up and then crack the lid open and then a bunch of bubbles would rush out and um, I wouldn't let it overflow, but let the bubbles kind of burp and let the system burp itself. So through doing that multiple times, uh, I think we actually got the system bled pretty good. Um, kept squeezing the upper radiator hose as well and didn't seem to have any air left in the system. Got both coolant bricks bled as well. So I just resorted to topping off the system, opening up the system, letting the system heat up, opening it again, uh, closing it, topping it off, open, close, all that stuff. Hopefully the system's bled. Like I said, the car ran for about 45 minutes. Um, got up to uh, a little bit less than temperature. Um, since I have the Mishimoto um, lower temp thermostat, I think that was actually not getting it up to its full mid mark uh, on the coolant temp sensor gauge. Um, so. It seemed to be working. Uh, it didn't seem to have any weird malfunctions yet. Uh, we'll see once we get the car driving, uh, if it ever overheats or whatever, but it seemed to be good and doing its job then. The radiator was getting hot. The heat exchanger had a little bit of heat in it and the two coolant bricks were definitely hot because the engine was hot, obviously. So uh, I think we're good on that and uh tomorrow we will probably fire up the car again and let it run and see what it does in terms of coolant level um, in the overflow expansion tank but for now it is topped off and yeah we'll just catch you guys tomorrow what's up dog what is going on guys it is starting to get snowy Worst thing to see for this car, best thing to see for this car, but of course it's not registered, so we ain't doing anything with it. We're gonna come out here, warm it up again, see if anything changes with the car. Like I said yesterday, I was trying to bleed the system, so I have these both set on high with the fans on, and uh, we were bringing it up to 2,000 RPMs, revving up the car, and getting the auxiliary coolant pump to actually 
uh, push coolant and all that stuff so uh, we could get the bricks all good to go and bled so that's all good uh, yeah I don't know I think we've got everything bled for the most part but I'm not 100% sure uh, so I'm just gonna continue to warm up the car let it sit and just see what happens. Um, the power steering feels good after we did all those modifications and stuff to the system, put new O-rings in it basically. Um, everything feels real light and easy and no check engine light which I'm actually really surprised since we are on catless test pipes. Um, I think the codes for the intake flaps are gone and I think for the cylinder one misfire that is also gone. However, it said it was stored on the ECU, so I would imagine you'd have to get the ECU um, cleared by like a dealer or something, so it might still be on there, but for now, it is not, so. Sheesh. She's on, I'm gonna let her warm up, and yeah, I'm just gonna get out, let it warm up, and we'll do this. Let's turn the lights off, we don't need that. So anyway, we are gonna go inside, let that thing warm up for 20 minutes, half hour, see what happens, and catch up with you guys later. All right, so you can see snow is starting to stick. Got a little heat in the motor. Coolant still way up high. This guy is pretty hot. It's crazy how cool the supercharger still is, but everything looks pretty good there. No leaks under the coolant expansion tank. Everything fairly quiet with the engine. Uh, main ticking from the high flow or the high pressure fuel pump. inside let's see how hot it got definitely warm in here because of having this that so heat works um, we're only that hot um, it's been about like 10 15 minutes um, I don't know maybe it's because the cooling systems a lot larger on this car it takes a little bit longer to heat up that thing would already be warm guaranteed uh, after like 15 minutes it is only about 29 degrees out so it is still pretty pretty cold out so I guess it makes sense but seems pretty cool for how long it's been running and just kind of sitting here so yeah um, what the internet was telling me to do is rev it to 2000 rpms um, and that will trigger I guess there's like a secondary cooling pump that needs to circulate coolant in the secondary system and yeah I guess that needs to be done so I had been doing that quite a bit I had also been uh, like I said turn this on hot do that um, after I had the RPMs held I would go outside and uh, go crack the screws on top of the supercharger and I actually got to where it was just pure cooling coming out so we are good on that I believe and then we've got uh, the system would burp eventually um, with this whole system running uh, I did have it burp a few times and drink quite a bit of coolant and I had to refill it so um, I used about two and a half sorry I used about two and a half of these things um, so we have about half of this guy left over maybe actually less than half of this thing left over I wouldn't be surprised if we need a little bit more uh, but yeah it seems to be good yesterday like I said the car ran for about 45 minutes just like it was just sitting idling do a little bit of revving here and there get everything good and it seemed to be good um, I'm not sure if it's weird because it seems like 
it goes past that mark just a little bit and then it comes back down and then it goes past and then it comes back down maybe it's because I'm not driving the car at all but it seems to be happy at that mark and maybe it's because the new Mishimoto thermostat uh, or something I don't know it just doesn't seem to build up heat that much uh, it seems to run fairly cool. Have the RPMs held there for a little bit. Let's see what happens. And the car is just way, way smoother. You got it to move a little bit past that line, but not much. So I'm not sure. Maybe the Mishimoto, yeah, see, and then I rev it and it circulates a little bit more coolant and then it goes back down. So uh, I'm not sure if the Mishimoto thermostat just keeps it that much cooler or what, but that is about where it sits. Um, it's been quite a bit of time, enough time for the car to warm up, I would think, especially with all this stuff that we've been doing, all the revs and stuff that I've been doing, uh, I would think it would have a little bit more heat in it. Um, I'll let it sit a little bit longer and we'll see, but yeah. So yeah guys, um, it's been sitting for a while now, like 30 minutes. There's heat in the radiator, definitely. Top of the engine is not hot at all. Um, doesn't feel like there's any air pockets in this line anymore. So I think we're good on that. Seems good. Seems quiet. Yeah, it just seems like it doesn't want to get past that line. I guess that is where the Mishimoto thermostat is going to peg the um, temperature at. So, it seems good. Uh, I don't have an issue with that. It seems like the car is working just fine. Uh, so far, I haven't really driven it. Um, but from what I can tell it seems okay and seems like it's gonna be happy check engine light hasn't come on um, I've had the car on and off what this is now like hour and a half total and we haven't seen any more check engine light stuff the car isn't acting all funny it doesn't have the misfire that it had with the um, old coils and plugs uh, it doesn't seem to be leaking out of the valve cover gaskets however um, I didn't know it was leaking from the valve cover gaskets because it was leaking in a place that is underneath the coils so you can't really see it so not sure on that but I don't think it's leaking there those were some fresh gaskets and it seemed good so yeah anyway guys I think that is gonna be it for the video thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next one uh, where hopefully we take it to get the car registered um, I think we're at that point get it registered take it for its first drive and rips and see what happens so peace out we'll see you on the next one guys